This is Rare with Multiplaying, along with my good friend, Mr. Iactin, and this is our first ever League of Legends cold cast. Hello Welcome folks, Summoner's how's Rift. it going? Alright, so here on the bottom blue team, we have I Ragamuffini, Ricardo Volvi, Osantia, I Ken Dragon, and Devil's Joker. And Please continue to butcher those accents. Yeah, this is going to be terrible. Who do we have up on purple team, Mr. A. Acton? On top lane, we have Miguelon playing Shivana, Sergomesh with Graves, Caron with Mordekaiser, Turimon with Zin Shao, and Kalio playing Olaf. Alright, excellent. Looks like we have a little bit of roaming around the jungle here with Mordekaiser and Shivana. Just yep. checking to make sure that no one is trying to steal their stuffs. All these hotkeys, you can go directly from one champion to another, and I am not going to remember how to do that. It's quite simple. Rare, all you gotta do is tap the buttons. This is me we are talking about, Mr. I Acton. I do forget that on occasion. It looks like we'll have Shivana on the top lane, starting at red buff. Yep. With Mordekaiser there for some backup. Katarina's poking around the woods to ensure that their jungler's gonna get a clean start, probably on their blue. Renekton's getting brave. He's getting brazen. He's going for it. Will uh, he go yeah. to the- ah, yeah, he's going with the grass. Alright. You'll probably get sight on Mordekaiser before Mord knows what's going on, because I haven't seen a clairvoyance go down from either team yet. Correct. And we are also seeing nachos in chat channel. Do you like nachos, Mr. Acton? Oh, here we I, go with the gank. Get ready. Here comes the gank. Oh, they man. They do not see that, that green team. Oh, and man! Here comes the gank. Get on Come Shibana. Oh, first blood. sick first blood. First blood. Will they go for the red buff steal? No, it appears they're going to get the first blood and just walk out. Probably a wise decision. Get back to their lanes and start farming up. Interesting to see, though, that that Graves didn't react there with uh, someone as tanky as Mordekaiser there for some assistance. Not at all. And I think you meant Shivana, not Graves, though. That's okay. No, I, I meant Graves up there on that top lane. Oh, my bad. I thought we were still talking about the gank. Oh, no cold problem. Cold casting, people. Cold casting. Cold casting. At bottom lane, we have uh, our little kitty being retarded as always. Interesting though, they're going to top lane. No jungler for the blue team. Well, you know those Brazilians, you know what they say. Way, way, way. Indeed. All day. Looks like bot lanes get bot and top lane for blue team are getting all the way aggressive. With that early game gank, I'm thinking that top, uh, top side of the map will have a tough time keeping up with uh, the bottom. I think that's probably a fair fair analysis. At the same time, I don't know, I mean, it seems to me like they're just kind of feeding top lane with last hits. With all that pressure on Graves, it does get difficult for him to get in there and use his Q effectively on that creep wave. And until he can build either a second Dorans or get an Infinity Edge working for him, it's very, very hard for him to, to rack up that creep score. He's only at 7 right now, as opposed to our, uh, our Renekton and Alistar. Who are at Wait, 10 and 2, respectively. Yeah, that is that is correct, sir. That is also awesome that you can keep up that nice little tab there so I don't have to deal with it. Looks like they're gonna go for Nidalee. Getting brave in bottom lane. But Jax oh, is not. Jax Jax is not Jax oh. oh, Jax. It's, it's all trouble for Jax. With that chase, Olaf with that axe. Jax, oh, no. Jax, Jax. Getting a little well, they too pick brazen. Up Nidalee as well. Bad flash by Nidalee there. Hit the wall on accident. Might have been a misclick. She Seems can turn like they're gonna throw that spear. She might be able to get some damage on that. Ah, uh, Olaf taking an unnecessary turret hit there. Indeed. Zin Shao's lane staying power is still very good though with his tireless warrior, so that shouldn't be much of a problem for him. Also, possibly uh, health pot there, so he'll be back up in no time. Also, Olaf, Olaf will probably just that. regen a little bit on this next wave, I'd bet. Yep, and with that Doran shield, that'll also help him get back up. Oh, with oh, the dive Italy. from Zen. Bad placement. Big damage. Big damage. Throwing the axe. Not quite. Dead axe. Not close. Quite Very close, though. Here comes Jax for some uh, backups, reinforcements, if you will. But at the same time, I mean, I, I still think he got a little too brazen. Oh, we Jax had a kill in mid. Jax has been entirely denied on that creep score. He has zero creep score right now. Meanwhile, Little Miss Katarina is currently outdoing Mr. Hui Hui Hui. But we have some action from Shivana possibly going for a gank at mid. Oh, here we go! Here it comes. Flash in! But Katarina's Shampo. having none of that. No, uh, indeed. Oh, no taking two tower gank. hits. Ah, that's unfortunate for Shivana. 
Graves still being pushed back up on that tower there. He's up to 15 creep score now, but I don't know that that's going to be enough to keep up with the 21 that um, Renekton and Alistair are getting. Alistair's he's doing a little a bit very... low on mana to me. Is he expunging it all on creep waves? I saw one ability <laughs> go off there. Not sure I have that's seen wise. Him, I have seen him dashing around a good bit to either avoid Renekton's slice and dice or Alistair's um, headbutt. I see. I suppose that makes sense. Still, I try and conserve mana, especially in a 1v2 situation. Where, Absolutely. For the most part, they were being pretty, you know, pretty offensive, giving him the creep near his tower. There's really no need to expel all your moves on mana until Thank shit gets you. real. Well, Shivana has her boots now, and that might help her with, uh, with some ganking action, but Katarina's already picked up a Hextech revolver. Renekton also having returned with, um,. Boots and an additional Doran's Blade. Yeah, currently Katarina is the highest level, I and mean, Mordekaiser or their mid is only 5. Granted, Graves currently... is 5 also, but still. I mean, a level 3 Shivana, that's that's not helping. A 4 now. My apologies. Looks like a gank coming in on Graves. If Renekton can land that stun, oh yeah, no, it misses nope. the slice. Again, Shivana I think it's been and... a little too obvious with their ganks. I mean, it's 2 on 1. Graves has got to know, you know, something's up when someone's missing. Shivana, however, just roaming all around. I think she's going to go for their blue buff. Without anyone in their jungle to oppose her, it's absolutely the right choice. I completely concur, sir. Which I find curious. You know, you figure maybe Jax might switch into jungle around like five or six to give Nidalee a solo lane, but no, we're not seeing that. Nidalee still is one of the strongest solo lane champions in the game. And that Jax is just getting all the way aggressive for honestly no reason. Yes. Uh, Jax is really hurting still on creep score. Only four last hits with He's Nidalee just been chilling 14. in that bush all day, every day, but not really doing anything effective. He needs to start either getting some last hits of his own or going and jungling. And meanwhile, Shivana, she wants that Katarina. Indeed she does, but without her dragon's descent, that'll be a tough gank to tough gank to sell. Is Renekton coming in for the three? Oh, uh... Does not look like Renekton saw her. Uh, yeah, probably is a little upset that uh, Shivana stole their blue. Maybe this could turn into an engagement here with Shivana. Hopefully oh, she can react wait, wait, to wait, but he's all alone. Katarina's not. Is all I mean, alone. I, I'm not sure that. A eh, little bit of a free hit, but on a Mordekaiser, is that really going to do much? Not a whole lot. Yeah, exactly. With his, with his regen from that um, that regrowth print, it's not going to be a factor in the lane. Exactly. Katarina with her spell vamp. The, that mid lane is going to be pretty sustainable for the time being. And bot lane's finally starting to push back against uh, that Jackson Nidalee combo. Man. Oh, gank coming in on Graves. If he lands that stun, there it is. Slice and dice. Is he oh, going to go for the gank? He got the, the ignite off, but. And the ignite. The Alistair cow's getting brazen. Shout. But Shivana coming oh, in for the shout. save. Oh, the will, oh, wow. Oh, no. Wow. Alistair oh. getting all the way aggressive, but probably not a good idea when Shivana was MIA. Yeah, diving on Jackson bottom lane right now with Katarina coming in to try and finish them off. Shun pose in. Death Lotus. There oh. goes Sinchow. Will he go for the oh, axe? No, no, he's toast. There is no way he, he might get Jackson. No. Nah, oh. he's, he's all the way done. At the very yeah. least, he'll run into Katarina and probably likely die there. Here comes the Shunpo. Katarina, yep, there's a the Shunpo. GG, no re, Mr. Olaf. That brings Katarina up to 3-0-1 right now. She's got 40. She is the highest CS. Oh, no, I'm sorry. Mordekaiser has one additional than her, but still, she's 3-0 right now. Like right, you said, Mordekaiser that's a big up, gold increase. Up his level 2 boots. He's got his uh, Sorcerer Shoes. That'll help him out a little bit. Katarina will be interesting to see what she picks up on her next time back, whether it's a... Um, I mean, this Jax, all he's got is Merc Treads. That is not going to be effective in the next, I'd say, you know, cycle of laning. That's just, that's not helping at all. Absolutely, and I think we're starting to see this effect of not having a jungler on that bottom team. I completely agree. They're out-leveled, they're out-geared, they're not being pushed, but, I mean, when it comes to it, it's all going to snowball later on in the game. Absolutely. And Katarina getting as, uh, as built up as she is, that's not going to help them either. Definitely going to need some magic resistance late game to fight off Katarina. Meanwhile, top lane seems like... With what? the knockup and yeah, the stun. Slice and dice in the flip. Can they capitalize? Graves drops the smoke grenade. No, that's too this much... Oh, will he... That yeah, that's just too much DPS right for Graves. Actually, Caught well on done on game. CC timings. That's some good coordination right there. Absolutely.
Got caught up in his own creep there a little bit. That's always unfortunate when that happens. Yep, and at this point, honestly, I'm just starting to feel bad for Jax. There's really not a lot he can do. He might get one or two CS in this next wave, but when it but comes down to we do have to, to acknowledge it, that the bot team is up from four kills for the top team. Yeah. One guy's getting in trouble there at the bush, but I don't think... I think he might get out of it all right. Looks like the pump stuff. There goes oh, the ult, yeah. but there's just... I don't know. Oh, it's, it's a good exhaust. Shibana come in with Dragon's Descent and misses it to get that clutch. Yeah, that's what I figured would happen. Still, Shivana coming in, possibly going to get a kill. I don't know. It's a lot of CC she has to contend against. Indeed. Will she get a double kill? It's possible. I can see it coming with that. There's the flash. Good, yeah, and strong flash. Well played by Shivana. Graves coming in, but too late for any kind of cleanup. Zinshaw trying to cover from mid, but against that Katarina, I mean, granted, she's pulling back right now, but he's just, I mean, there's nothing he can do to be effective against that Katarina. Absolutely. Meanwhile, Olaf is alone bottom. I guess it's Nidalee and Jax. And despite the fact that Jax is heavily undergeared, that combo is not good. Even on a tower, I'd be, I'd be okay. Oh, wow, they're on Skype? Purple team, you're on Skype. You're not very coordinated for being on Skype. <laughs> It is Son, the Brazilians, I guy. Keep that in mind. This is true. This is Brazilians. Not that we want to hate on Brazilians, because they might watch this and then... Well, yeah. Well, we'll just acknowledge that with this simple statement. Mordekaiser S numero uno. Wait, wait, wait. Wait, wait, okay, wait. Okay, cool. We got our Brazilian love back. Not a lot going on right now. Graves has... walking through the river there, taking a peek at Renekton. Alistair's back from returning to his base. It's like he picked up uh, Lucidity Boots and a Sapphire Crystal. Cat, admit, uh, Cat heading back to her lane with a needlessly large rod. Insert Katarina joke here, but uh, I mean, yeah. Oh, Shunpo's in and kills yep. Zinshao despite Shivana being in the middle of the lane. Will she be able to Shunpo onto a creep to get out? Can't she even up? do that? Oh, oh no. no. I've played this game like four months. Can you Shunpo on Friendly Creep? Uh, yes, you can. You All right. Shunpo. Enemy it deals damage, but you can Shunpo anywhere you want. Excellent. Renekton coming mid to hopefully pick up that Shivana kill, but he's not going to get there in time to be any factor. She is all the way gone. Indeed. Kortre Papu, indeed, Ragamuffin. Because I have... Oh, wait, Shivana going into the jungle with this... Oh, this could be trouble. Ah. Here comes the stun. The flash. There's the ignite, and... Oh, it's gonna be close! Oh, the oh wow, a oh, strong oh. health pot, right there by Shivana. Graves coming through the jungle. This is gonna be trouble. All these pigs making me lag. Resilience, cut it out. Drops that. In comes Zinchow to help out. Can he take down that Renekton at least? There goes the ult from Graves. I think Zinshaw, I, I think Renekton. Yeah, nice there goes Renekton. Kind of a wasted flash like there though. Alistair. Here comes Katarina. This could be the deciding factor. There's the Death Lotus. Oh, oh. no. Oh, sorry. There knock it up, is. knock up. Where's it at? Oh, come okay, on. Cool Shoot on. Why... There oh, you go. Man. All right. Meanwhile, bot lane, we have Mordekaiser trying to take out Nidalee. Will he be successful? He's ulted onto her. She's extremely low health, but I think he's going to... Jax, Fox. cleaning it up. Will he be able to escape Olaf on this tower, though? I don't know. Nah, oh. he's unable. The strong ult from Olaf there. He can't be stunned. Indeed. That brings Olaf up to two kills, one death, while bringing Jax down to one kill and two deaths. Still not seeing too much from Jax. Double ability, tomb, or amplifying tomb rather, sorry, but not sure I agree with that. I mean, He'll yes. probably turn that into a hex tech here shortly. Granted, yeah, but I mean, I don't know. He's just so under farmed at this point. We're only 15 creep score at fi almost 15 minutes into the game. Jax, that is unacceptable. Well, actually, he's got 29. I think you were looking at Alistair there. Oh, uh, my apologies. Still, 29. only 29? I mean, yeesh. When half of the enemy team is doubling your creep score, you know you have a problem. Especially when you are kind of a tank slash carry. Indeed. With Alistair, it's understandable, because he's just been feeding Renekton CS all game, so that's And all he's right. been doing a good job at that, too. Uh, 65 creep score total for that lane, only 10 under Katarina at mid. As is to be expected, exactly honestly. Exactly tied, actually, with Graves up top. Well, it was before he just killed those three. Oh, Shivana getting oh, all the way Shivana. aggressive on that tower. Two here more comes teammates come in. There Shivana goes the pulls ult. out. But here comes Alistair. He's having none of that. This is the knockup. That could have been a crucial, crucial knockup. That would have been a critical knockup. 
likely would have gotten at least one kill out of that with Katarina on the way from River. I bet you they probably could have scored one. Looks like she's heading back though, maybe taking out the Zincha. There's the Shunpo. Ah, uh, she's just cleaned up that creep wave. Meanwhile, top, are they really going for this? On an Alistair at tower, wow. Well, with three people in the lane, that's a fair amount of damage to be putting on that tower as long as you have creep support. But if he, as soon as he pops that knock up with all of them around, as well as the heal for his minions, that could be a real issue. All he's got to do now is give uh, Shivana there a good punch. With Katarina uh, coming in, gonna Shunpo in and pop the death load. There's the exhaust on Olaf. Here goes one. Come on, Shunpo's two. Olaf. Here goes two, I'm betting. This Will she jump kill. onto Shivana though? That's the question. No, she's gonna confirm the Olaf kill instead. I don't know. I think that if they worked in conjunction, they probably could have killed Shivana, then uh, Renekton could have cleaned up Olaf. Yeah, but it's much more important to ensure that you get the kills that are available to you than going after the one that you're not sure of. Very good point, sir. Strong tip. Yep. Meanwhile, Nidalee trying to hold off mid against a Zin Xiao, really low on HP. Granted, she could probably, you know, dodge a little bit of his attacks, but I don't know. Katarina coming in. That's Shunpo Harass. And the death load is picking up on the easy kill. Meanwhile, at top, they are going for that tower with Shibana there. She can't really do anything to stop them, honestly. Her best bet is to take out that creep wave and maybe dragons sent them into the wall to get some extra damage on them with that tower. Mordekaiser picking up the tower kill at bot lane. Hue, hue, hue. Our Mord's starting to get uh, better built now. He has a hex tech himself and another amplifying tome. Did she find his popper alt there? Indeed she did. Dragon form, and I see the trail of flame behind her. They're going for that Renekton. Bit early, There's though. The Not sure I agree with Flash. popping it so early there. There comes the ult from uh, Renekton to give him that additional health, as well as the movement. Graves picking up a clutch kill. Well done, Graves. Indeed. Shivana getting out there. Pretty low HP. I mean, they got the kill, so I can't really complain, but at the same time, I feel like it's a little bit of a premature ult there. Probably should have saved it until they were sure they could ensure a fight rather than just popping at their own tower. Absolutely. And that Graves ult, too, was a little bit early. Oh, Katarina coming top to maybe put a poke on Shivana. Graves Not trying to pick up the tower Oh, top. gets there in time! Death Lotus! Wow. wow. I missed that. That Katarina, 9-1-1. One, one. That is impressive. Oh, on the Graves now! Will she- Oh, wow, is she gonna get all the way aggressive with Graves oh, here? Okay. Not that I blame her, I mean, 9-1-1, one, one, one. why the hell not? Absolutely. In my opinion, if had Shivana stayed there with that Riggle's Lantern, she could have lifestealed enough health back up to possibly make it out of their save. I missed the fight, so I'll have to take your word on that. Unfortunately, we can't both be seeing the same thing at once. Gotta work on that, right? That's Looks okay. Like brewing at bottom down here. We got a, a three on two, but I mean, once again, it's Jax. It's the same. Jax running off to the side, but. Hey, you're you going know. against a kitty with flash and grass, though. You're not catching her anytime soon. Absolutely not. Renekton coming down, maybe looking for a team fight, but without that much. Uh, no backups. Ah, uh, Warring Dragon. Okay, smart move. The issue for them right now is not knowing where Katarina is for that bottom team, which yeah. is probably why they're hesitant. That's with like someone as fat as her, she just picked up her Rabbit Dibble's Darbling cap. Now they called everyone to fall back, but they're still moving forward. Uh, we could see a double kill here shortly. Possibly. If we Olaf's can get any getting low. I think what we I need to see is Jax to jump in first to give Katarina the ability to kind of dodge some CC. Oh, bad sport Katarina. for Katarina. No. She's bad completely on her own. Jax, Italy however, Jax taking a sweet up. time to help out. Here comes, ooh. Well, ooh oh, Shunpo. there goes Alistair with a good CC, giving them the initiate they needed. My computer's this lagging. Go, ooh, result takes care of Katarina there. goes there one. Massive damage. Can't even wow. see anything that's from Nidalee running away. And that just brought the kill count for the purple team back up. That did not go Blue's way. Also, Katarina dying after being 9-1. and one. That is some serious gold being given to the purple team. Absolutely, but she did manage to pick up a 10th kill in the middle of that death ball. Yes, indeed. For as fed as she is, though, I think 10-2-2 two and two is still a pretty good score right now. Mordekaiser's just going to secure this bottom tower here. Absolutely. That makes the engagement fall even more decisively into Purple's grasp. That being said, they have three tower kills right now and are outpacing the blue team on gold by over 4,000. And you know, this doesn't surprise me. We were talking about earlier how early game snowball effects occur. Their Jax is basically useless at this point. I mean, Mordekaiser, 1v1 one one against Katarina, Katarina, he's gonna die because Katarina has been fed all game. But when it comes to their teammates, he could probably win a fight. 
And we have another fight here going at top lane, yep. 3v2 with Graves and Shivana versus Alistair Renekton and Nidalee. Graves, Graves getting with an a little excellent... crafty there. Absolutely, I did not even know that wall was dashable. So kudos, Graves. Is he gonna go for the suicide? Will he make it? Is it better possible? Question. Oh, it's he's gotta possible. dodge his Renekton dash. It's gonna be close. Oh, the oh, ignite. ignite! What a clutch ignite! Waiting That's just for so him to get weird. low, thinking he was gonna get a, you know his own suicide off, but no. Denied by that. has gotta be careful here to not get cocky. While she is very fat, that giant's belt is the only thing keeping her from being uh Shivana's lunch. Xin Xiao going for this tower. Yeah, I don't looks know. Like he will get it. He secured it, but will he be able to get out in time? I do believe so. He'll either dive down through the river and uh, juke out Alistair, or he'll just break pursuit, which he does. All right, we got a little action up top going here, trying to go for that top tower, but Shivana's saying, no way, man, get your they fat ass off my tower. They can just run in there right now and take care of that tower. This is where, this is where Shivana needs to drag into scent to get her way out of there. Ooh, going aggressive, going for that kitty, but she pounces. That was a strong pounce right there. never catch that kitty. Maybe with the skill shot here from Shivana, maybe Ooh, one more. It's close, it's gonna be close. It is close. But in she that grass, that kitty's all that the grass. way gone. Yep, and here we see Katarina and Renekton, as well as Jax, coming up. Shivana's about to have a very, very bad day. She's already blown a flash. This is gonna get ugly. Uh, there goes the burnout for that increased movement speed, knowing she can probably take on Renekton. Ooh, stopping stun. to fight Renekton, Stun. not realizing that Jax and Katarina within the vicinity. Death Lotus, and there's the 12th No kill good, no good. Gotta watch out with all those Mias, I don't know. Oh, Katarina, however... Got to be in a spot of trouble oh, no. herself. Oh, okay, there's the flash in the Shumpo. Very strong. All that That's... movement speed. But is she going the wrong way, juking back through the jungle to say hello to Zin Shao and Mordekaiser? Meanwhile, on top, up we Zin. have Jax go. Oh, man. There goes Kill. Zin Shao. Katarina is still perfectly fine. Amazingly. Oh, no, she died. My apologies. I was looking at Zin Shao. Nice spear from Nidalee coming in there. Alistair's uh, movement buff will not be enough to save him, though. That's just too much DPS. Ignite, alt, the other alt. Absolutely. <laughs> and this tower is going to go down, especially Absolutely. with Mordekaiser's Alistair Ghost. Yeah, GG. If you, look at, if you look at the synergy of the items for that purple team, it's fantastic. You have the armor reduction from Zin Shao with his Black Cleaver, as well as the slow from Olaf's Phage. That just makes for a very bad day for any member of the blue team trying to get away from them. For sure, for sure. Absolutely dominating the lanes. Shivana just off free farming there in the corner, but the blue team's too distracted to really do anything about it. Ooh, this can get us get out. Oh yeah, Katarina's having none of this. She is going all the way. Going to go for a quad, I bet. I'm calling it right now. Graves might be able to get away, but still, that's Shunpo. Bam. Oh, Jax with the kill. Getting him some much needed gold. He's only got two items right now, those Merc Treads and that Hextech. I'm not sure I agree with that at this point, honestly. I think Jack should just probably farm off CS and let Katarina keep on getting kills. Graves, however, is going to get away. That blue pill ninja. Oh, yep, there he goes. Meanwhile, mid lane's about there. to take a thrashing from the blue team. Shivana completely ignoring it, trying to get that dragon to get her team a little Not bit more. Not sure gold, that's a gold wise gold. call. I mean, dragon's good, but losing your secondary mid tower, that just opens up you up to a whole lot of pain and jungle. You lose map control. But from the direction she's coming in right now, if Nidalee does not make that corner up, and she does, this dragon's descent here could be critical. There it is. Getting the AoE, getting the damage in there on that team to set her team up. Oh, there they go on there Katarina, Katarina. Folks knocking her down. Bam. Good well, job by the purple kills, team. Yeah, absolutely. 13 kills racked up by that Katarina, they, uh, they're definitely hungry for some blood. Have a pretty staunch gold lead going right now for the purple team, with all those tower kills doesn't really surprise me, and securing dragon by Shivana, so I guess I'm eating crow right now. Looks like uh, two teams there are heading either to ward or to just engage on that Baron. Looks like a ward from yep. blue team, and I'm not sure, do, do they have wards in their jungle, or is crow just a psychic? Give me just one second and I will let you know. Uh, looks like Corona's just being aggressive because he's Mordekaiser, so hey, why the fuck not? Blue team only has one ward at Baron, and a purple team has one in the river at the bottom to keep an eye on Dragon. Olaf, totally out of position. He has Shivana support, however, so he likely won't die, but running off solo Shivana, like that. 
Shivana's not so much there to fight as it is to make sure that her team can get that blue buff and deny it from the blue team. Exactly. Meanwhile, Graves, I think, is going to try and put some... Oh, nope, never mind. I was thinking he might put pressure on mid, but we're going to have a really weird and obtuse fight here in the jungle. Graves' ultimate coming in from this angle could prove really deadly. Oh, but with the Jax oh, jump on wow. top of him... Oh, wow. Look at Jax just getting at all. melted. Alistair going down, Jax going down, Olaf picking... Italy with the kill, and there's the final oh, one. Wow. And there's the ace. There's that ace. And you know that what? Was just Honestly, a storm of damage. that just came all out from Katarina. I, I mean, I gotta give credit a little bit to Renekton and Alistair for, for some strong CC, but Jax, man, you're really holding your team back right now. You just don't have a lot of to support, and they need you. I mean, Katarina is not gonna be able to hold out forever once they start stacking magic resistance. And there you go. Shivana just bought a Negatron Cloak. So that's gonna start hurting Katarina late game. Yep, we saw Olaf picking up a uh, dagger there, get him some more attack speed, maybe get his creep farm up. Despite being down on kills, that purple team is staying resilient with their extra gold and tower kills. I Zin Shao coming in here, maybe gonna get that thinking about it. Here oh, comes the knockoff of Katarina wow, right on the tower. Some strong DPS from Zin Shao there. Shredding that one there. Katarina is awesome. likely gonna get away, I think. Yeah. Uh, hopefully Zin Shao can cool off. Oh. Yep, there you go. That's always the trap with Katarina. All Never that ability power. Dark place. But Never it, follow her into that dark place. Great Shunpo onto Renekton to escape. Uh, crap, Graves. There we go. Failing Jackson on that champion. Jump. No stun available for Olaf, though. Chugging that craggy ice has built him up quite a bit of resistance. Katarina coming back in. Graves. Ooh. With the Hextech and that, uh, that death lotus, she'll definitely regen any health she would lose. Man. There's the Shunpo. I do not agree with this offensive at all. That is, this is going to likely be five free kills for maybe one or two. Well, with Katarina as low as she is, that red team definitely needs to be targeting her right now. There she goes. Yeah. Good move, everyone. Good move. All of that HP. Alistair with Shibata. the chain. If he can knock them back towards their tower, it's three v one right now, mind you. Use but your Shibata's heals, guys. You got him. Come on. Duh. Down goes Italy. Wow, Shivana really holding out right here. Going for the triple kill. Wow. That Warmogs and that Riggles, man. That's some, that's some golf clap right there. That was impressive. Indeed. I'm not sure I agree with that purple offensive, though. They have a gold lead. They have a tower lead. But they can't seem to stay as a cohesive unit. They're all kind of running around. And then they all sort of either group up after one or two of them has died or after the fight's already started. Yeah, a ping going down a Baron, and uh, Blue Team's ward has worn off there, so they will have no idea what's going on. Looks like Shivana's warding their jungle in case if they come, so the Purple Team will be aware in advance if Blue Team makes a go to stop them from securing Baron. That's why that Riggles is such a good item to pick up for Shivana. Even though she's pretty low on health right now, she can still manage to steal a good bit up. I'm not sure she needs to be, though. She's regenerating HP at a pretty decent rate. That in combination with the Riggles, I think you could survive Baron. Especially Graves says, follow me into this bush, Renekton. It is clearly an excellent life choice, and you should do it. Poor Renekton. He knows they want Baron, and he's trying to make sure that they can secure at least a ward or something. He had Jack's no caught out of position here. Yeah, this is going to be... Ah! Getting through that brush, though, maybe what saves him. He's jumping on an Alistair, but Alistair continuing in. Not sure I agree with that, Alistair. Knocking him back. There's the knockup, but in comes Zinshao. That E and Q combo from Zen Shao is just devastating to anybody trying to get away. Alistair just does not have enough ability power to stand up to that way, way, way. That's gonna hurt him big time. That's correct. And with seven deaths, he's tied for the highest uh, one on the team, with not even as many assists as Nidalee. Did I say ability power? Yes, you did. I meant to say magic resistance. Well, he doesn't have much of either. This is very true. He's sitting at uh, mostly mana and cooldown reduction. With those boots as well as a frozen heart. I can understand the frozen heart, but I'm not sure that the amplifying tomb is a strong choice in this game. Yeah, I completely agree with you there. It seems like they don't really have, I mean, they kind of all have off tanks in a way, and their CC timing has thus far been pretty effective, but they don't have really any main Comes tank. Comes from the side, Olaf throwing that axe. Shivana waiting for a good time to ult, noticing Jax is low, there we go. Graves' is Q just tearing through them. Shivana tanking that tower damage, but now it's switched on to Zin Shao. 
Yeah, purple is gonna. I think purple is gonna rack it up here now. Ooh, there goes a big kill from uh, Katarina. Nidalee throwing the spear. Tanking too much tower damage. People need to watch Shibana, when they just uh, eats people. Man, eats I, them alive. I mean, I think they would have been better off there if they let. Right there. Yeah, there you go. I think what they needed to do was Shivana needed to make sure that she kept that tower on her longer because she's a far, far greater HP pool than, say, Zen Shao or Olaf. I mean, at the very Wait. end, uh, they weren't able to really get off as many moves as they probably could have. Right you are, Ken. Really, Ken? Really? Most extreme challenge, my good man. I'll, I'll let it <laughs> Right you are, Ken. No, totally over my head. It's okay, I've had a casting you fail, you've had a casting fail. It's all good. It Alright, so we're kind of getting a reset here, but when I say reset, I mean purple surprisingly has a gold lead despite a huge kill deficiency. But if you look at their creep farms, almost all of their members, with the exception of their Olaf, who's building really, really tanky and has sort of fallen into the support role, have over 100 creep score. Which I find weird, with such a strong tank in Shivana, I can understand the need to kind of increase your HP a little bit, maybe your defenses, but well, picking up a Vampiric Spear and then a Regrowth Prendant just strikes me as odd. Oh, what a strong Shunpo! I missed that, I'm sorry. And then Shunpoing on Olaf, coming from the wrong side, therefore giving Katarina a perfect in and out. Very strong Shivana, play by Katarina right there. Shivana turning on that burnout. Uh, does not look like we're gonna get a solid engagement here with uh, blue team heading back off through the jungle Looks like they're gonna Baron right now, and that is not warded both teams Desperately want to control Baron, but purple team is completely on it. They know hey, they're running off We gotta check Baron instantly Could this be a, it looks like a bait from blue team. I'm not sure this is why there's the ward There's the ward they know could they be waiting for a steal? I think they will there goes Shivana Shivana with that flash in and she is such a massive damage dealer for her team Shredding Zenshao almost instantly. Zenshao and throws. Olaf and Graves. Wow. There's two, there's three, and they will pick off Shivana. Excellent dragons descend up and over the wall. How in the world did Graves get out of there? This Shivana has been outpacing anyone else on the team, popping the burnout to ensure her departure from that. That was a very strong play by her. I'm surprised that by tanking Baron, they were still able to do that much damage to Purple. And I think it mostly falls under, again, Olaf and Zen Xiao. They're strong damage dealers, but there's just so many CC and AoEs from the blue team that they really can't contribute before dying. Ooh, that ult coming in on Jax, picking off an easy kill of a straggler. Very good play by Graves here. He's gotta be careful now. It's not worth dying here. That Ignite, I don't think will get him. I think he'll get to his spawning cool in time. Yes, he does. Yep. Better to let the inhibitor fall than die a second time, especially with that much pressure at your main base. Luckily, and his team has And considering the amount of time. He was definitely just telling, uh, for those of you who don't speak fluent Huey Huey, he was just telling him to eat it. That Komila is eat it. Ah, I see. I'm sure there was an insult to his mother thrown in there as well. Alistair out of position here. Is he waiting for the right. bait though? I don't know, looks like blue team's departing. At this time, Purple is uh, more concerned with make, uh, making sure that their base is safe. Jax proclaiming teams. himself the support of his team. I'm not sure you're the support role, buddy. I'm pretty sure you're just not playing so hot. Just remember, Mordekaiseros numero uno. Purple team looking to secure Baron here. I think they can do this. They have plenty of time. The blue team is nowhere near. Renekton's heading up that way. They do. Both teams still have Baron warded, but I don't believe Renekton on his own. Yeah, I think Purple team's together. got this in the bag. Absolutely. Here comes the Baron, Baron buff. I think now they need to push. They're all grouped. They're ready to go, try and catch one gold. of them off guard. If you get, if you can make this into a 5v4, I think Purple could secure this game right now. Pushing mid, but Mordekaiser and Graves just troll along their way along. Looks like they don't want to engage right now. They probably want to pick up Dragon and be sure that they have the correct items before they commit to a fight. Now Olaf and Zinshaw need to watch themselves here. Don't run up that ramp, guys. Alright, good. You don't want to go anywhere without Shivana at this point. 
Absolutely. There's too much damage. They will melt instantly without the proper support from their tanks. Purple team being very reluctant to push here. I'm not sure why. I can understand the want of finishing some items. We've seen some completed items on their side, but I mean, come on, time's taken. You got Baron buff. You should be good to go. Can't quite understand that myself. Uh, it looks like they're trying to clear out their jungle, pick up as many buffs as they can. Maybe wary sure of a Katarina gank. I suppose that's understandable, but I mean, you can't just dilly dally all game while you have Baron. You have a gold advantage. Towers are equal. You should push Katarina now. Katarina is still covering more than half of her team's kills with 22, and she's almost at full build. She'll probably pick up a Void Staff here, and that will be it for her for the time being. She's already gotten rid of her uh, her starter, Doran's Ring. Swap that out in favor of the Blasting Wand. Oh man, Graves just Graves. To, oh, out of position! And the, and the exhaust. That will probably end badly for Graves. That smoke grenade going down, but I don't think it's going to do a whole lot for him. Will Graves be able to get out of the way? Shunpo through the uh, wall. See, so, you know, this is what I'm talking about. Purples allowed themselves to give Blue a chance to position themselves in their jungle for a fast gank. Love to see if Purple can recover from this. Renekton yeah, out of position, taking right. a lot of damage. There goes Renekton, but Shibana Dragon's ascending in to try and pick those up. Zinchao going down, but Renekton as well. There goes Jax, and Alistair is not going to make it out of that okay. Katarina with the Death Lotus, but not going to be enough to pick up anything. Good attempt there from Katarina on that, but it just was not enough. Yeah, I mean, without her proper support, uh, it's just not happening. And additionally, that uh, that ghostly Renekton All right, blue. Mordecai not blue, sorry, helping. purple. You need to push now. Shivana and Mordecai are plenty of HP. You need to go. Now. Shivana is totally not concerned about that tower hitting her with all the health she has. As well as that force of nature. You can forget about that. She will chase that Nidalee all the way back to our Nexus. All right, come on. Olaf, I really don't agree with this decision. All you have to worry about is Nidalee, but you're not assisting your team in pushing forward. They could use your melee DPS on this third tower. All of the uh, blue team coming up here within the next 20 seconds with... Uh, I don't know if they're going to be able to secure this now. tower. Shivana's taking a lot of damage. She needs to get out of there before blue team comes. All right, Shivana's leaving. I was more concerned there with creep for that second. Oh, and there's come, there they come. He can only wait, wait, wait for so Jax long against Renekton and Jax. This is going to be trouble for Mordekaiser. Massive life still there. Overseed, you're welcome, sir. Should have pulled out sooner. Looks like Nidalee had the last way in that one. Indeed. All these puns. But seriously, come on, Olaf. You could have easily secured that third tower with your additional melee defense. How much HP does this tower have? Let's take a look. Only 940. Ah, could have easily had that third tower and then later perhaps ganked that inhibitor with Zinchow and Olaf together or some form of play. But instead, that third tower will hold, giving Blue Team another chance to come back in this game. Looks like Katarina to go in there to check Dragon. She does have an Oracle's Elixir up right now. Probably just burn a little bit of cash. And also to make sure that there, uh, any potential uh, hazards are gone from their way as far as the enemy team's sight. She also, I believe, has an Ability Power potion on her right now. Yes, the Blue Lace Tea or whatever uh, for this special festival going on. So... Spending all that consumable money. Not that I blame her with that many kills. I mean, that's what you need to do. And at 156 creep farm, she's been at full build for uh, probably the last 10 minutes of this game. Oh, we're about to see an engagement here in the woods. Neither side really wanting to commit with both team fights having gone back and forth so far. I think right now, blue team is trying to kind of hold purple in the northern part of the map so that Renekton can secure that bottom tower. They need to Keeping so the quickly. pressure where they need to keep it is helping them. Nidalee and Jax Massively. need to pull out of their ASAP. Yes, but we do have the other five of their team right there. All right. This could be the 5v5 engagement. This hopefully will oh, be Oh, what it. a strong all by Shivana there. But will she go but down too out. fast? Oof. Again, bad placement by the purple team. That was a five on three. Not what Double you want to do this late game. A Shunpo and another Death Lotus. She has that Mordekaiser ult still on her, but she doesn't care. She's going to walk right up to Graves and... Oh, Graves with a clutch Q. Man, my frames are shit in the bed right now, but that is okay. Still, I mean, I don't know. I'm sure pursuing that Nidalee there, but you know what they say, you can't catch a cougar. Yeah, especially not with grass, my friend. Especially not with tall grass. 
More to the point though, I still think that Purple could have racked up that entire fight, likely even gotten an ace while not losing Mordekaiser and Shivana had they all been together. Blue team was ready to go together, granted which kind of hurt them in a way, but at the very least they were able to all use their abilities in conjunction, whereas Purple team kind of came in lingering one after another. Nidalee's still strong enough to maintain their base for the time being uh, for the next 20 seconds or so while these teams regroup and get ready to uh, try for another decisive decisive blow to that purple team, but with both teams coming up and uh, all players approaching full build, it's just going to come down to the skill of them. Yeah, I agree with Graves' item build, however. Picking up that Banshee Veil, I think, is going to be very vital in the late game, because he needs Absolutely. to stay alive. He's one of their primary damage dealers at this point. Zin Shao going all the way offensive. Not sure I agree when you have a Jax, a Renekton, and an Alistair. That's a lot of CC to contend with. He still is almost at uh, 3,000 health, and he does have a giant spell. What he'll do with that, I don't know at this point. Seems uh, like instead of going be... for resistances, we're just seeing mass HP pool for the purple team, which has to some extent worked with the, for them, but at the same time, that Katarina ult is going to hurt with all that ability power. Nidalee and Jax here working on the red buff. It looks like Jax is going to take it for that extra slow. Meanwhile, purple team Nidalee. picking up Dragon. Because why not? Yeah, I completely agree. Nidalee heading down that way, throws the spear, misses it. Unfortunately, it's already been taken. Now we're yeah, seeing Renekton and Katarina wing. get really aggressive up north here. It's because they've seen that Shivana roaming around up there. Oh, Katarina! Take like a jump on Zen. Zen, that was not a good idea. Here comes the rest of the team. Graves ulti, not quite enough. If they Shivana's can kill that Katarina, that's me major with all of her current consumables on top of her. Shun pwing to Nidalee to get that extra little bit of health from her W. My e, uh, her Shivana e, realizing sorry. the importance of downing this Katarina. Here comes the rest of that team to put some damage this on This is going to be a huge gold there boss for goes. Katarina. That's an Oracle and Omnipot gone. That's rough in the late game. With only uh, Nidalee and Alistair up to support the base here. I'm not sure they're going to be able to hold it from this red on. All right, Olaf, stop chasing that kitty. Stop chasing that kitty. Bad Olaf. Focus that inhibitor. Alistair punting him away, but oh, down goes the turret on the inhib. Exhaust going off on Alistair, unchaining, but Graves' smoke grenade holding him up. Come on, Alistair. Come on, you Nidalee. It's all on you guys Graves. right now. Graves dashing back for that little bit of uh, attack speed bonus. Going down to bottom to capitalize on that creep wave there. I agree with this. His Banshee Veil is Alistair. up. He can totally do this no problem. He just needs to watch Alistair. out for that Nidalee. Alistair just tried to knock him up straight in the air, and his Banshee Veil said At nope. this point, that tower is toast. I think this will be game here. Uh, we Despite could eight. see a counter race, but that's a long stretch at this point. Losing both their towers, likely to lose this bottom inhibitor soon. And Mordor guys are putting pressure on top. His tower being repelled by Renekton. But still, losing that bottom inhibitor, that's rough. Two inhibitors down, and purple's inhibitors respawn and ready to go. This not looking good for our blue team. Not at the moment, it is a very dark hour for them, but an engagement going down. Reacted to some degree holding his own up top here. That knock up, the ulti. Ooh, Olaf getting displaced by a strong head from Alistair. Looks like Graves could go down here. Graves is pretty squishy, there goes Graves as well. Oh, Mordekaiser taking a lot of damage. Here comes Katarina. Headbutting him back towards that tower. Nidalee picking up another kill. We saw a strong counterattack there by Blue Team, losing no one, picking off three. Increasing their kill lead up to 50. At this point, kills, I don't think you're going to do them too much good. It's kind of a nice moral thing, or morale rather, but they need to push. They need to push now when they have the chance. Unfortunately, they just aren't as as uh, heavy on the damage as that purple team. That gold advantage is what has won this game for them. Yeah, it seems so. To this point, none of the uh, none of the blue team breaking that 200 creep score. And even then, not really strong in the melee DPS category. Lots of tanking and some ability power, but I don't know. Renekton stun in here, that could be good on uh, Shivana before she can build up the rage to use her Dragon's Descent and go and just try and eat Katarina. Oh, Zen Shao, you need to help your Shivana at this point. If you lose her, That's you guys are going to be in a world of trouble. Blue needs to take out that Zen Shao. He's much squishier than their Shivana. He was in a bad There's place, too. Alright, come on, guys. Jumping. 
Oh, here comes purple team. They've all respawned at this point. I think blue team took too long to get this inhibitor. They need to get out of there now. Avoid the exact counterattack that they just pulled out themselves earlier in the game. Shivana's still with that Baron buff. Yeah, I mean, I'm not really surprised. She's got a very strong build. Very tanky. Here comes the dive on Renekton. and tries to slice through that wall and runs right into no it. No dice. That big alligator nose. Losing both their Alistair and Renekton after only getting a middle inhibitor. Two of their major CC players. This is likely going to be GG. They have a strong amount of DPS, but no way to control the wrath of the current purple team. Oh, come on, guys, push! Purple team just wasting that time. They have, come on, guys, you gotta go, you got 40 seconds. Push that top tower and secure this game. Now's your chance. Taking a bit of a siesta there. They're falling Looks for like the retard trap, aka following that kitty, when they should be focusing on that inhibitor. Shivana's still walking around with that half dragon form. That Katarina Chunpo is still deadly. I mean, that's a lot of ability power, but I don't think they'd be. Ah! Uh, I don't think they can hold this off. That's a lot of creep in conjunction with. Oh, you guys are coming in. Yeah, for a smack this is on that not turret. looking good. Still picking up that There goes Katarina. Kill. That's game. I'm calling it. There's no way they're holding this. An excellent game from both sides. Excellent team fights. Lots of Guardian back and Angel forth in this game. Oh, some BM by Olaf. Olaf of all people, BM. I mean, come on now, man. That's not needed. This is a good game. Going in the spawn. All oh, that BM. There goes the Nexus. Excellent game, Blue and Purple teams. A, a very happy way to both of you. And congratulations Victory. on your win. All that way, way, way. Well, this has been the first ever cold cast by myself, Rare, my good pal, I acted. Sorry for the somewhat bad frame rate. Hopefully it all comes out in post, as they say. But uh, this has been the two of us coming at you with our very first ever League of Legends cold cast. Thanks for watching. See you guys next time. Stay cool, everyone.